welcome students now we are discussing our next chapter that is diversity in living organisms this is the part one we discuss here i hope you was enjoying the previous videos and learned so much from that videos now discussing here that is diversity in living organisms biodiversity what is biodiversity all living organisms present in an area together form biodiversity of that particular area means different different types of organisms or you can say species together form biodiversity of that area when the area increase biodiversity is also increases means if we increase like example in a room there is a dog and cat if we increase the area means included the other room that room may be contain different type of two spider then there is the two rooms containing two spider and one dog one cat if we read only one room that biodiversity is very less these different different organisms are study in group so there is need of classification of organisms in these groups means if we are want to study the cow we are not need to study so much different different cow we are study a single cow which included the complete group of cow aristotle divide animals according to their living area means like they live in air they are different categorized in different group if the animals live in water they are differently grouped and if they are live on land they are differently grouped the process of dividing of organism in different different category or group this process is known as classification different different scientists use different different criteria for classification like morphology main study of external character ya features bahar se kaisa koi dikhai deta hai anatomy study of internal features cell organelle and chemical composition means like the structure of protein and you can say plasma membrane structures and fat composition etc these different other criteria like cell which lack nucleus classify as prokaryotic cell and cell which have nucleus as eukaryotic cell presence or absence of cell organelle unicellular or multicellular condition of the organisms autotroph are separately classified from the heterotroph means autotroph or those organisms which prepare their own food and the heterotroph which depend on the other organisms presence or absence of the cell wall is it is the another point of criteria of classification now the classification and evolution this is the definition of classification that is all living organisms are identified matlab सबसे पहले उनके करेक्टर स्टडी करके दे हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच इज मोर सिमिलर ग्रुप फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म विच वी वांट टू क्लासिफाई जिसको हम क्लासिफाई करना चाहते हैं उसके करेक्टर सबसे ज्यादा किस ग्रुप से मिलते हैं हम उसको स्टडी करते हैं देन दे आर करेक्टराइज मतलब उसको उस कैटेगरी में रखा जाता है ऑन द बेसिस वी ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट इज द क्राइटेरिया दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज क्लासिफिकेशन the classification of life or you can say living organism is closely related to their evolution now this is the definition of evolution means most life forms mean you can say most of the living organism that we see today have arisen means they are formed by an accumulation of changes in the body different different changes aate gaye samay ke sath sath aur unko wo apne sath rakhta gaya aur pass karta gaya next जनरेशन में ताकि वो भी अच्छे से सरवाइव कर सकें फॉर बेटर सरवाइविंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द चेंजेस टाइम मीन्स दे अकमलेट द चेंजेस एंड पास ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ दैट द प्रीवियस स्टेजेस ऑफ लाइफ दैट बिकम वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द स्टिल प्रेजेंट ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज नॉन एज इवोल्यूशन चार्ल्स डार्विन first describe idea of evolution in 1859 in his book origin of species the origin of species evolution makes simple primitive organism primitive means those organism which are present in the past to complex and advanced organism means 
एडवांस ऑर्गेनिज्म विच इज प्रेजेंट एट नाउ सिंपल विच इज वेरी सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर नॉट हैव सो मच कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ देयर बॉडी टू कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिज्म इवोल्यूशन क्या करता है चेंजेस लाने के की वजह से सिंपल और जो प्रिमेटिव ऑर्गेनिज्म है उनमें चेंजेस आते गए कमलेट होते गए इकट्ठा होते गए और पास होते गए एक जनरेशन से दूसरी में एज ए रिजल्ट क्या हुआ द सिंपल एंड प्रिमेटिव ऑर्गेनिज्म बिकम कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड एडवांस ऑर्गेनिज्म दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर लाइक एग्जाम्पल इन द पास्ट वी आर सिम्स टू बी लाइक अ मंकी एंड वॉक लाइक मंकी आवर बैक इज नॉट स्ट्रेट slightly slightly time changes and our back become straighter now we study taxonomy hierarchy of classification groups this is the definition of taxonomy in this process the classification and arrangement of different different organism in different different category is known as taxonomy means sabse pehle classify karna organisms ko क्लासीफाई करने के बाद उस क्लासीफाइड कैटेगरी या ग्रुप को अरेंज करना दिस इज नॉन एज टेक्सोनॉमी टेक्सोनॉमी हैविंग सेवन मेजर ग्रुप्स एंड यू कैन से कैटेगरी ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ द टेक्सोनॉमी कार्य की मीन्स अरेंजमेंट ऑफ दीज कैटेगरी इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर इज नॉन एज टेक्सोनॉमी हायर की दीज आर द सेवन कैटेगरी दैट इज फर्स्ट स्पीसी जीनस फैमिली ऑर्डर क्लास फाइलम किंगडम एट किंगडम लेवल लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स प्रेजेंट एंड एट स्पीसीज लेवल लिस्ट नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर प्रेजेंट मीन्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एज वी नो दैट दे आर अरेंजिंग इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर द स्पीसीज लेवल इज स्मॉल लेवल विच कम्बाइंस एंड फॉर्म जीनस डिफरेंट जीनस कम्बाइन फॉर्म फैमिली लाइक सो ऑन नाउ टेक्सोनॉमिक ग्रुप एंड कैटेगरीज that is species group of similar organism with the maximum or you can say all similar character this is known as species example tigers species ka jo group hota hai the group of similar species means having similar character not complete all but they are having similar character or similar species they are study in a group known as genus example panthera in panthera tiger having character similar to lion they are together study under a genus that is panthera the next is family group of similar genus is known as family example felidae tiger lion together study with cats under a group that known as Felidae, that is a family. Order means different, different family with similar character together group and study like like example carnivora, tiger, lion, leopard combines with cat and dog means they all are carnivore. Study under carnivora. carnivore those organisms which eat flesh or you can say meat only the next is group of similar order is known as class example mammalia they are and cow is included with these all carnivores and the cow is you know that herbivore which not eat flesh is depend on plant only but they all are having a similar character they all feed their young one on their milk ye sabhi ke sabhi apne bachcho ko milk pilate hain and such type of organisms known as mammalia next is phylum that is group of similar classes together study under a category that is known as phylum example chordata chordata are those organisms which are having vertebral column or notochord in them matlab this is a character like vertebral column is known as our reed ki haddi peeth ki taraf ek stiff rod hoti hai jaisa ki hamare peeth mein hai 
और जो अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स है लाइक फिशेज उनके अंदर होती है दे टूगेदर स्टडी अंडर फाइलम कोरोडेटा द नेक्स्ट विद द सेवेंथ कैटेगरी दैट इज किंगडम विच इंक्लूडेड ग्रुप ऑफ डिफरेंट फाइलम इन दम एग्जाम्पल एनिमल किंगडम दिस इज द एनिमल किंगडम नाउ वी आर स्टडी क्लासिफिकेशन इन स्टार्टिंग टेक्सोनोमी एंड क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज गिवन बाई अ साइंटिस्ट नेम एज कैरोस लिनियस He was give two kingdom classification include only plant kingdom and animal kingdom. Three kingdom classification was given by Ernest Haeckel. He added a new kingdom in two kingdom classification means two kingdom which is already existing made by the Carolus Linnaeus that is plant kingdom and animal kingdom. In these two kingdom a new kingdom is added the kingdom name was Protista. The four kingdom classification was given by H. F. Copeland. He added a new kingdom in three kingdom classification. That is, we already discussed that kingdom name is kingdom Monera. The five kingdom classification was given by R. H. Whittaker. He added a new kingdom in four kingdom classification. We already discussed that his kingdom name is kingdom Fungi, and the Six kingdom classification was given by Carl Woos. He divided kingdom Monera into two different kingdom, that is, kingdom Archaeobacteria and kingdom Eubacteria. Now the total kingdom becomes six. The five kingdom classification is most acceptable, and you can say still working classified system. Now discuss. with five kingdom classification in detail it included five kingdoms these kingdoms are the first kingdom is monera which included bacteria in it the second kingdom is protista which included amoeba paramecium euglena etc the third kingdom is fungi in which we study about fungi the next kingdom that is fourth kingdom is plantae in which we study about plants and the fifth kingdom is animalia in which we study about animals now this is monera protista fungi plant and animals the kingdom monera is contain all prokaryotes means contain prokaryotic organisms with not have complete nucleus and these other four are having eukaryotes means containing such type of organism with cells containing nucleus the protista and monera these two kingdoms are unicellular means made up by unicellular cellular organisms which are made up by single cell organisms you can say and these three that is fungi plant and animal kingdom it included multicellular organisms now we 